It's a beautiful time to talk showbiz here on Joy News. My name is Becky. Uh, today is very special because you don't always have superstars passing through. So today I have one superstar, you know, coming all the way from Nigeria. He's called Praise. I'm sure you've heard about him before because he's collaborated with some of Ghana's finest, obviously, Stoneboy, Sakodie, to mention a few. Uh, he's in the country. He has some few things doing, some music video coming up with one uh, rapper, you know, one of our best rappers here in Ghana. And so Praise joins me to talk entertainment. Hello Hi. to you. Hi, Becky. How are you? Fine, thank you. The name is Praise. Ubedi Adejo. Ubedi Adejo. Adejo, yeah. <laughs> That's a strong name, right? <laughs> My name is Rebecca Dako Trenivoa. Say that. Rebecca Dake Chinibua. Mm. Obviously, I can't mention your name. You can't mention your name. Let's move on. You're, you're welcome to Ghana. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it feels good to be back home. Yeah. Ghana's like it's my second, second home. home. Yeah. I mean, I'm a, a, lot, a lot of times people don't know I'm here, but my friends know when I come. Mm -hmm. I love it here. It's really calm. Yeah. You know, great vibes. You know, so yeah. The number of, uh, you know, us, our brothers and sisters I spoke to yeah. from Nigeria. Yeah. They tell me, oh, Ghana is calm. Ghana yeah. is like my second home. Yeah. Are you sure Ghana is your second home? Yeah. What, what makes Ghana so different and so soothing that, I mean, you keep coming back? Well, to be honest, um, there's a similarity. Actually, it's an irony. Mm. There's a similarity between Ghana and Nigeria. Okay. And a big difference. It feels like Nigeria, but it's just very calm. It's calmer. Yeah, <laughs> it's just our, our country don't be calm, <laughs> you know. But yeah. I got to see you. Uh, this is my first time. Uh, let's let's talk about you know after Project Fame and, oh. and all of that's yeah. a very long time yeah. ago. Actually, Project Fame is the reason why a lot of people got to know you yeah. as a musician. Uh, tell me about the journey. Um, so I was on Project Fame West Africa, the Median Edition in okay. two thousand and eight. Yeah which had um, Ni, I'm sure you know yeah, him, from Ni Ghana. from here, yeah. yeah. um, Kojo, who, who is called KJ Live or something mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and, um, well, I actually didn't think I wanted to do music. I wanted to play football. You know, I was going to ask, <laughs> has it always been music all yeah. this while? Um, I wanted to play football, uh, but I've always had love for music. I played drums, okay. I played drums in church. Okay. And um, when I was going into the university, that waiting period, I was always in the studio chilling with my friend who's a producer. Okay. I play the drums. Sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll play drums for live recordings. Mm. And my love and interest for music just kept going. So yeah, we kept pushing, kept pushing, and I produced for people. One day I decided to say, oh, let me see what it feels like to be behind the booth. Okay. So I produced, I made a beat, and I recorded myself. Okay. And yeah, I played to my friends and they're like, yo, praise, you can sing. Mm. I think you should do more of this. I was like, okay. Well, in my head, football was still there. Did you, <laughs> have you ever, you know, done football? Yeah, yeah, the... yeah, yeah, yeah. I played, like I played, I played grassroots football. Okay. Um, one of, actually a couple of the stars, the Super Eagles, past and present, used to be like my teammates. Oh, yeah, interesting. So like, yeah, like I used to play football, football, like... Music won then. <laughs> yeah. Music won. So, um, a friend of mine convinced me to go for um, singing reality shows. Okay. I tried everyone that happened in Nigeria. Didn't but I didn't make any headway. I mean, meanwhile, your friends keep telling you, yo, you you're can good. sing. Yeah, you're good. I was like, I, I was really discouraged. Okay. Then, my friend again said, I know you're, you, you don't want to even do this because mm -hmm. of your past experience. Yeah. But I think you should just give this one one more try. So I, I reluctantly applied for Project Fame in okay. 2008. And I got into the house, got to the final, came third. third yeah. And I mean, for me, I think that was the beginning of the music journey, journey. mainstream yeah. for me. And, and how, how has that been like for you when you finally got into mainstream? Because back yeah. uh, in the house, mm -hmm. uh, Project Fame House, was just, you know, the yeah. reality just, stuff. Yeah. But the reality yeah, on no. the ground, yeah. <laughs> how, 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 how has it been so it was, for you? It was really interesting. 
Because I remember um, after the show, you hear people say, you know, call me, give me a call. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll get you sorted. Like, you know, people making promises. Promises. And the way he was on the show, it was different when I came out. Like I tell people, when I came out, it was introduction to reality. Like you say, like mm -hmm. <laughs> the real on, reality. On yo, the ground. Yo. On the ground. So it was totally different. Um, then I realized that you're like being in a reality TV show. I mean, it, it, it makes you or helps you by cut some things yeah. and helps you quickly build a fan base. Mm. But <laughs> that does not guarantee your entrance into the industry. Mainstream, yeah. You know, so for me, like after Project Fame, it was a struggle. I had to start. Um, I mean, I went through different situations where mm. my family at one point my family had some issues so the money i won i, I, gi yeah, every, in, I gave yeah. it i gave it like i just gave it to my family like you we needed to sort out things, things. yeah so now for me there was nothing. nothing i had no resources to create music had no equipment so it was a struggle being at a show where people know you mm. and expecting you to move from here to here but from here, you're coming back Down. here to start again. So it was, it was quite, it was a struggle at some point. But I kept pushing, kept yeah. pushing. And um, I was staying in Kaduna, which is the northern part of Nigeria. Okay. I told my dad, I was like, Dad, I had to move. Like, I need to go to where the industry is. Exactly. You know, like, I need to, I need to move. He tried to convince me. Uh, I acted like I heard, but one day I just told him that I'm going. Yeah. Wow. So I headed to Lagos. It was a struggle. It was a struggle. But we're here today. Yeah, but I mean, we're here. Yeah. How, how many songs, you know, so far? How many Yo, collaborations um, do you remember? Um, I mean, I can tell my, you my, the ones my that you My catalog with... will release songs. My catalog should be nothing less than nothing less than seventy songs. Okay. Yeah. 70 songs yeah. that do we have the the new ep no no yeah like part really, of it. no release songs release songs yeah so that has the yes, stonewall yes, collaboration yeah. and and the sarkodie collaboration part so that was that. on the king album that was on okay. the album I, I put out um i think a year ago no no two, two years ago so how many albums have you released so far i put out a double album okay I don't know more. So let me just say three albums. Three albums. And two EPs. And and, and you're coming up with another EP? Yeah, or... another project. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. interesting. I'm actually coming up with two projects this year. Uh, we'll, we'll, get, yeah. we'll, get to talk, <laughs> we'll get to talk more about the, the project. Yeah. But, I mean, 70 songs, yeah. three albums, yeah. two EPs. Yeah. Which... I've, released, I've released some singles that didn't make it to... The albums the album, and, yeah. and, and the so EP. if I just correlate songs that I put out, yeah, it amounts to that. That's a lot of songs to choose from yeah, because no. I want to ask you, you know, which one will be your favorite. It always hard. And <laughs> and and, and you no, know, but there's always a story yeah. behind each song. Yeah, that's that's what makes you it, would have to select that's, one that's, today. It, it's hard. Yeah, I know. It's, it's over hard. seventy songs. You just have to just pick one. Oh, I was eating banku when oh, I decided hard, to it's hard, it's <laughs> hard. Which one is more like the most emotional one? Um, so I have two, I think two like really emotional songs. Mm -hmm. um, one um, was on my first album, it's called Losing It. Okay. What were you losing though? Um, Your mind? <laughs> yeah, kind of. I was like, I was losing, I was losing my mind, I was losing my relationship. Okay. You know, and um, I was in a relationship that ended for reasons I didn't know at that point in time, but eventually okay. found you out. Got to know. Years later, I got to get clarity, and um, the relationship ended because of religion. Oh. You know, so. Um, that song took me, it took me four years to write. Oh. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it took me four years to write. After the relationship, when the relationship ended, I was, I was damaged. Like, yo, like, I'm a lover boy. You yeah, know? that's, I mean, so, all lover boys, but that's the reason why you're doing <laughs> R&B. I mean, I, 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 I love was love, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. I love, I love love, you know, and uh, so I was in a relationship and, um,
it didn't just work out. And I was trying to, I was wondering, like, because we were happy people together. Like, yeah. we literally never had issues. But suddenly, of, everything yeah. just switched, you know. And um, it ended, I was trying to get clarity. I couldn't get clarity for a long time, for years. Uh-huh. And one day I was in the studio, I was working on my album, um, my first album, the Rich and Famous album. And I was in the studio. You know how you're under the shower, mm. and, but it just it just felt that way. Words just kept coming because I'd been trying to put that song into music. Mm. I wanted to put that emotions more like the emotions yeah. into music yeah. because I needed to let that body go. It wasn't coming. Mm. <laughs> so one day I was in the studio and. The words just kept just kept dropping, and I just wrote it after four years. And four yeah, years, four years to talk about feet. You know, I think it's an African thing. Mm. We don't Africans yeah. usually don't um, express themselves. We shield. We, we, yeah, we try to shield much. too much. And R and B is supposed to bring that out. Yeah, of course. I'm told. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so, I mean, it took you four years it took me to. Four years talk about your feelings yeah. and how or what you're going through. That that must be very hard for yeah, you. Yeah, it was. It, I won't lie to you, it was because you know, I was in love. <laughs> I know. Like I was like love in the sense that like I shut out any external distractions. Mm. You know, it was just me and you. Like, there, yo, there was no cheating to be on, like nothing. Yeah. Africans will blame it on some spiritual something but i mean you've moved on yeah, it's not like, like you're yo, like, like I've moved, I've moved you've moved on way back I know. <laughs> and 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 today we're here we're talking about a new ep coming and yeah. tell me about it do we have any other love um, stuff on there i mean yeah i mean okay, hello oh, you've hello. fallen in love again no i haven't i haven't oh, since that time so i did in 2000 and Early 2017. <laughs> yeah. So he fell in love. He, you know, fell out of love. And then I fell in love. My heart was broken. Broken. <laughs> then you managed to fall in <laughs> love again. again. And, and this then your heart, it was, no, it, you it, broke it, the person's heart. No, no, I didn't. There was just so much drama. There was too many arguments. It was just too toxic. Mm. Just to talk can to I you. can I say maybe because the other party is famous, which is you, and there are so many things coming. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. It could, but it could be. For, for me is, um, we, whoever I'm dating, I'm not the artist. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not the t- I'm not the guy on the TV. I never, I'm that guy. Even when I'm out. Uh. Where I mean, I see the fans with person I'm with. I'm not that guy. I'm not the TV guy. People know I'm that guy, but I'm not with you. I'm I, not that. TV I know, but guy. women, they, they they flee. Yeah, right? but I mean, I I I, 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 I make them. And, I, oh, praise! Oh my God, he's here. Yeah. You you know that kind of thing. Well, it's Get inevitable. It's inevitable, you yeah. know. And uh, for me, for me, it's. <laughs> The fans appreciating mm-hmm. the love, you mm-hmm. know, so I can't help it. But I just don't I say hi to people to the detriment of the attention of my woman, mm. of whoever I'll be, whoever I'm dating, yeah. you know, like uh, like from a distance. Because I mean, if we're on a date, you're on a date, yeah. That's that's beautiful yeah. and very inspiring. I hope you know people are learning. <laughs> Tell me about the, the 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 new EP that is coming up. I'm yeah. very interested. Is it something to the moon? Um, no, I put out to the moon um, during the lockdown um, okay. last year. H- how did it go? Yeah, it went really good. It went okay. really good. Um, had um, a couple of features. Had Mi on it. Had um, Ice Prince. Had oh. Niola. <gasps> Um, had my younger brother King. Um, oh, yeah. You got all the big people on. Yeah. <laughs> so, You're big. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, now I'm sounding like I don't know you. Now nah, it's, it's, it's good. I mean, to be honest, I don't feel everybody knows me. Mm. And I mean, that's why. Oh, a lot of that's people. What, that's, a lot, no, of people, a lot people of people do. do yeah. But I mean, once you feel like everybody knows you. Then yeah. you're not ready to grow. 
Yeah. You know, like, so I just feel like, yo, like, I love to meet people who don't know me. Mm. I actually love to meet people who don't know me. So, I mean, yeah, we keep growing. They're meeting you right yeah. here. You have, to, <laughs> you have to try to change their minds to, you know, no, I'm, I'm get, sure, to, I'm get sure, to read more about I'm you. Sure, I'm sure I won't have to do so much. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna have to do so much. When they, <laughs> when, when they listen to the new EP that you, oh, oh. yeah, I mean, yo, like even from way back, like yeah, I've I've made amazing songs with um, great artists from Ghana. Mm -hmm. I've, I've I did all I want is you was the first song, which was on Sakodia's album. Yes. Um, so then we did me and you, uh, which is on my album. Yeah. Um, did money me with um, stone stone boy, stone boy which yo is, is which is a is a massive I jam. Know. So these two people that you mentioned, let's yeah. let's talk about them a little bit. Uh, yeah. Stone is different. Uh, he does like dance or yeah. uh, sakodie, yeah, our best rapper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how is working with sakodie like? It was it was it was it was easy. It was it was flawless. It was it was amazing. Um, he's a great he's a great person. Mm. Um, He's a king. <laughs> I, I love Sarkozy. And, um, and Stone Boy. Stone Boy. You have to be. Uh, me very, and Stone Boy, we connect. Yeah. You have to be very particular about how you describe these two people because yeah. you know there are people who might come after you. Why would you say, <laughs> "Oh, right. Sarkozy is king"? I do, I do that. Then Stone Boy. No, Stone We're Boy. Listening. No, Stone Boy is king. Stone Boy. Is, yo. Oh, they're both king. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, I mean, and, you and, can't just have one king, and I mean, in in. Uh, what's, what's, what's the word? We have different regions. Yeah. Every region has, has, so has like a king. like King of Tamazin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sarkozy is King of Tamazin. Oh, Stoneboy oh, King of Tamazin. King of Hip Hop. Yeah. King of. I get you. You know, like. So, like, Stoneboy is. Stoneboy is King. Stoneboy is my brother. We connect on a very. On a very different level. Mm. Um, first time um, I got connected to Stoneboy was through my friend, okay. um, Manuela. And um, I wanted to do a song with him, and I sent a song, and in, in like <laughs> I think a day or two, I got the song back. Not a lot of people have that energy, because that's the energy I have. Yeah. If someone wants to do a song with me, and yo, know, like <laughs> I'm not doing anything, and I love the song, I would do it and send it back to you. Yes. You know, I don't act. I don't try to act like yo, I'm busy. I'm, mm. you know. And for me, I was it's really. It's a celebrity thing, I think. Well, You're always busy, kind I, of. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you know, so I was really, I was like, wow, man, it's cool. And we got to meet in person, humble, mm. easygoing, mm. <laughs> intellectual. Very. And, I mean, he's Pisces. I'm Pisces. I was born in March. Oh. You know, so, yeah. We, just, yeah. we just connect. I think you celebrated your uh, March 8th. Eight. Yeah. yeah. I saw something Yeah. Like that. So, like, yo, like. He's my bro. He's my bro, and yo, it was, it was a blessing working with him. We, mm. we have we have about three songs together, you know. Like and making music with him is just so you're looking easy. forward to other songs with Stone Boy. Of, of course. I mean, I mean, I, I I would want us to even make a joint project. Oh, that's, yeah, that's it'll, interesting. It'll be, it'll be crazy. Mm. It'll be and crazy. and you have uh, something coming up with uh, uh, Kwesiatha. Yeah. Um, um, so are, this new project yeah, um, has. Has Quesiato on it? Has um, Joe Boy on it? Oh. Um, it's it's a four it's a four track project. Mm. Um, it's a blend of Afro pop and R&B. Afro pop and yeah. R&B, where you represent the R&B and yeah. the Afro yeah. pop. Yeah. Um, how did this connection come about, and what do we hope to achieve with this uh, joint collaboration? And also. You know, I'm thinking, so we, you guys, yeah. take time to give us the music. Yeah. How we consume it. Do you, do you guys pay attention to it and how the fans are receiving it and yeah. what is, or what they are actually getting out of the thing that you created, you, yeah. you took time to create. I see that you don't even sleep. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're always, creating music yeah. everywhere. Yeah. So um, t tell me. I mean, every every serious musician would should um, look up for the reception of his music from the fans because mm. we don't make music for ourselves; we yeah. make music for the fans. Yeah. And I mean, we we, we put in time, effort, dedication, 
um, to create music that the fans will love, you know. And yeah, we won't put it out. We try to see, we do our best to promote. And um, if it doesn't hit where we want to, mm. where we're hoping, I mean, we go back, we recreate, you know, give give more, you know, just to just surpass where we were from the last release, mm. you know. So yeah, we just we just keep pushing. But yeah, we we actually look out um, for the fans' reception. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so the impact when when you wake up and you're creating music, yeah. do you think about the impact that you know uh, that song or yeah. the music makes on on the fans? Yeah. Um, yeah. So I like to make music from um, a point of view that everyone can relate. Okay. I can sing. I'm going to the club, popping hundred bottles. I could sing that. Mm. But how many? I mean, everybody wants to live that life. Yeah. In the sense that they want to be successful, that mm. they could live that life. Mm -hmm. But in the reality, how many people can relate to what you say? You know. Yeah. So like, so when I make music, I like to make music that people can relate to. If I'm writing a love song, I like I like to write songs that ah, when you hear, ah, I know what he's talking about. I've been there, you know. And I've, I've I've been blessed to get messages, a lot of messages from people to say, yo, your song got me through this time mm. you know and for me that is for me that's success yeah. for me that's that's everything i that's what i want you know i want my music to be able to get you through hard times mm. you know so that's it for me do you think that's what's uh, let's get a bit of education here do you think that uh, i mean you've you, you're you're in nigeria yeah. you do music in yeah. nigeria and you've had the opportunity to do music with Ghanaians here so yeah. you must have been you know, abreast with everything music yeah. in both countries. Do you think that's what we're doing as musicians? Uh, that when we wake up and we want to put out a track or a song yeah. to to the people, we think about first of all how the people will uh, consume the music, how the pe the impact, yeah. especially that's the word, the, the impact that the music will have on. Uh, these people, do you think about, do you think that every musician think about that before putting out a song or they're just thinking about the, you know, fan of it? I think a lot of musicians think, they, they make music that people want, um, would like to hear mm. and also they make music that people would agree with. Um, you know, they just think about <laughs> things that are happening. Mm -hmm. It could be corruption. It could be, it could be xenophobia. It could be, it could be whatever. Not everybody know. does that. Yeah, but I mean, like, an intellectual musician should should do that. Okay. A musician should do that. So that's what we're supposed to also do. Because music, music is spiritual. It's very spiritual, and um, music is the easiest, one of the easiest ways to pass out message mm. out, you know. So yeah, I mean, I also feel it's <laughs> the responsibility of a musician to actually speak the minds of the masses, mm. you know, because we are privileged to be put in, or we're privileged to be in a position where a lot of people listen to yeah. what we say, what we sing. Mm -hmm. So it's easier for us to say, okay, like this is what's happening. This is not right. Mm. I'm going to sing about what's happening yeah. and it needs to change. A lot of people say that when you speak about those things, a lot of people don't listen. Yeah, well, Maybe because you haven't given us you know, that for a while. So it's a different thing altogether. You listen to Kendrick Lamar yeah, yeah. and you know what he can do yeah. with his music. Like yeah. everybody knows that he speaks to issues and yeah. all of those things. But do we have something of that sort here in our African setting, talking, speaking, using music to speak to issues, to advise, yeah. educate people? Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, back in the day, like from my country, fella used to do that. Mm -hmm. um, um, I've actually put out two records, actually no, one, mm. um, that has addressed um, the situation of the country. Bonaboy, 
he, he, he does that. Two Face yeah. does that. Mm. Um, I mean, a couple of musicians do that. Do that. You know. Okay. I mean, you can't every you can't just be singing that every every Day. every release. <laughs> you know, like, I get. It, I you know. So, but yeah. I, I just mean, want to be sure that I mean, yeah. we're inculcating know, all of those yeah. in, in, in the music. Yeah. Because you mentioned B Burner Boy, yeah. I mean, how did you take the uh, Grammy, the that whole Grammy, Grammy win? I mean, great. somebody coming from Nigeria, yeah, it was, you know? Yeah, like, he, so the truth is, I'm going to be, like me, I'm very honest. I'm an, on, mm -hmm. I'm an honest person. In my head, back in the day, I used to ask like, God, please, I want to be the first guy to win a Grammy. <laughs> I mean, I think every artist had that prayer, yeah. you know, and sometimes you just you just keep working, you, 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 you work, but sometimes it just feels like, yo, like, is this fit achievable? Mm. In as much as you look back and you say that, yo, like, yo, you're doing great, yeah. but you just, you just feel like, okay, do you think even with how good you are, would you politically, think? they would just give it to you because you deserve it? Mm. You know, because, yo, take your or leave it. Music has its politics. Yes. You know, and for Bonner to win that, yo, like, it's, it's a great boost for African music. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, we've had um, Angela Kijo win it. Yeah. She's, for those who don't know, she, yo, she's, she's, uh, what's the word? <laughs> She's a musical yo, icon. Yeah, she's she's just she's it's on like the like a she, god. Thank you, Mini like a demi, demi yeah, demi god. Yeah, you know, and um, yo, she's put in a lot of work mm. even before <laughs> we were born. I know. So for her to win this, like yo, like <laughs> she knows how much work, how much sacrifice, you know. And I mean, for me to see my, my brother Bonobo win it, yo, like I'm like, yeah, it's it's very. It's very achievable, yeah, it's and achievable. Um, it's going to take it's going to take hard work. It's going to take a lot of um, networking. It's going to take yeah. it's going to take a lot. It's going to, you're, yeah. you're going to plan. You're going to work. You're going to get there, right? Yeah, of course. No, of course, I'm going to win the Grammy. Okay. <laughs> okay, I believe you. I mean, you said it you're right like, here. I believe you. When, yo, when, when I'm, it happens, I'm Grammy material. Man. I tell you. <laughs> When it happens, I hope that you uh, you will remember this conversation so that we have this we have this conversation and talk no, about the Grammy. You use this video to congratulate I me. Tell and I'll, you. And I reply like, remember, <laughs> remember, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I mean, what what next apart from the projects that you're on yeah, here yeah. in Ghana? Mm. When you go back to Nigeria, yeah. you obviously still going to work more on music yeah i mean like music is all you do yeah you know like i literally i work every day um i'm in studio every day 24 okay. 7 spending a minimum of a minimum of 10 hours a day in the day. studio you don't have any other you know side i do but i mean music is my main main yeah so music makes get gets you all the money yeah, that you want. Yeah, I mean other things get the money, but you know, like what <laughs> praise what are you? I'm a musician. Oh, fantastic! You know, that's wasn't from. I mean, doesn't I change. To, I wanted to be sure. I I wanted to stress on how uh, the music is making. Uh, you know, it's earning you yeah. your daily bread, or you know, I just wanted to confirm. So yeah, that. I mean, COVID year, um, it's been slower for. <laughs> Musicians all over the world, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, uh, so which one brings the money? Is it the playing of the shows or um, just putting the music out there on YouTube? So before now, it was shows. Shows, you can't, yo, you can't, you can't beat shows. It's usually shows, endorsements, um, mainly. Then there's royalties for those who know how to place their music mm -hmm. where they can still get their royalties because um, not enough musicians know how to mm. get their royalties yes. back you know so uh so i mean for me um during the covid year it was a slow year for everybody i had actually till date i have two concerts that i on hold everything is already planned everything's already put in place all i just needed to do was just come on stage and just sing you know, and a day before my concert, the government just called a lockdown. Oh God! So yeah, like so, it's been it's been a slow year, but um, I mean, I'm really excited because everything is gradually, slowly yeah. going back, back to almost normal. Yeah, because and, uh, have you taken your job though? So I'm no, I haven't. Um, you can take one here in Ghana. Oh yeah. 
I know let, me not, let me not talk about it because it might, it might sound controversial, you know, so let oh. me just... Let me just Why? You, you're not... So my mind, me. I'm not convinced yet. You're not convinced, but I took the job. Yeah. What are you not convinced about? So, um, you know, back in the day where they had um, the polio... Polio, yeah. So, like, I'm just... It's still vaccine. Yeah. Like, you had you one know, here, you had, like, two here, three. And you know, you know what happened during the era? So some people um, reacted differently. Yeah, and the children had defects or couldn't work. Okay. Would, yeah, like I thought if it you, was because of the defects. That's the reason why they're giving it to the rest of the people. So that's I, what I. I can't. Thought. I can't remember what the um, the. I look for it and I. I, I, I send yeah, it but to the you. argument too yeah. is you got polio. You got vaccinated for polio. You got vaccinated for. Yeah, I think I did. Um, but you know the first, the, 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 the first, the first one, the first first vaccines mm -hmm. did a lot of damage. <laughs> so you're not too sure. So, yeah, yeah, so I'm just, I'm just but waiting. But a lot of people had. Uh, uh, a lot of people, they've they've had the jab. I'm watching. <laughs> I, I I did like a month ago. Yeah. I'm still here with you yeah. having yeah. the interview. I'm not too sure this is a defect. So which one did you take? The first one. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I think about it. Oh, I know my place. I can just you know. Yeah. yeah you're back here in Ghana. So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you're not sure. Absolutely. Still okay. Thinking. So, Praise, what will be your you know advice to the young? Up, you, you, you have a great story. Yeah. You, you had to go down, yeah, come definitely. up here again, mm -hmm. and you're still pushing. Yeah. Uh, the younger ones, you know, coming after you, yeah. your generation, after your generation. Yeah. What would be that, you know, advice to them uh, to keep going? Yeah, um, keep working, stay humble, not being humble by mouth, <laughs> but being humble by your actions. Is it yeah. difficult to stay humble? It's a choice. Oh. It's a choice. Um, you can be successful and still be respectful of people who were there before you. That doesn't change the fact that um, <laughs> it doesn't change the fact that you're successful oh. or you're, you're you're the you're the rave of the moment now. You know, but I mean, I I I believe in I believe in humility. I believe it would. Um, open more ways than even your talent so yeah thank you so much Pleasure i man. also believe in humility mm -hmm. and i think that should be it for the show today uh, we've had praise yeah. the other name kofi kofi <laughs> <laughs> is a good name and the other one Ad Ad Adejo. Adejo. Yeah. Adejo. Uh, to talk entertainment with. I hope that you got something out of it. Well, at least if you haven't gotten anything, he's got an upcoming EP. You should look out for that. And yeah. he is asking you to stay humble. He also got something with Chrissy Athine and, and the rest. Hopefully, Stoneboy and Sarko, they will follow. Do you think that you, you would have anything to do with any other musicians here? In yeah, definitely. Um, Yesterday, yes, yesterday, the women. I mean, yesterday I was yesterday. I, um, so I was. Um, I did a song with um, Sefa. Sefa. Yeah, yeah, Sefa. Yeah, I did a song on an album. Um, okay. um, I've done a song with um, Wendy Shea. Oh wow. Um, yesterday I was recording with um, D Black. So yeah, I mean, me, I mean, I mean, I'm a full, I'm a full Ghana, Ghana boy. <laughs> we don't, we yeah. don't get one I'm, our I'm, praise here. I'm a speak. full Ghana <laughs> boy. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's been nice having this conversation. Thank with you very much. Peace out. Peace out.